hello hello guys welcome back to this channel if you're joining us for the first time please don't always forget to subscribe and i also want to thank my uh, returning viewers you have made it great and actually uh, new viewers who are coming and watching this for the first time you have also been part of this success and part of this journey thank you so much so something you consider please uh, don't always forget to subscribe after watching and click on the notification bell so that anytime uh, a video is posted you are not left out straight to my gist tiwa savage has lost four major endorsement deals with four major big companies now what happened we really know what happened for the uh, for the last three days tiwa savage has been trending on social media due to a number of reasons one being that uh, she released a new album with brandy's the american artist which was going viral and actually it was uh, making her trend for positive reason another reason why tiwa savage trend was uh, due to the alleged tape which was released by somebody who wanted to blackmail her according to her now according to this video uh tiwa savage comes out clearly to tell uh, a number of uh, people and also during her uh, interviews within the radio she says that uh, uh the video came out the moment she didn't realize because somebody wanted to blackmail her somebody wanted some good money so that uh, they can get a hold of the video not to release it now she's saying that she's not even she's not even surprised uh when the video is released because uh, the video is between her and her current boyfriend we even see them a uh, couple of pictures have been sent on social media actually uh depending uh, of actually purporting to the fact that they were actually doing that matter that thing in ayach we see them walking with a boyfriend Yes, and a group of them that are in the yard. So from this is where the video was actually recorded with a boyfriend because it was between the two. And from the 10 second clips, we see uh, the singer in a compromising situation of whatever is happening down there. Now from this, she's saying that uh, the boyfriend allegedly uh, recorded the video and actually posted in a snapchat mistakenly somebody downloaded the video before it was deleted now i don't know why this video was posted there they know the reason why and whether it's a lie or not the bug stops with them because certain acts are not supposed to be uh recorded on phones because anything can happen especially if you're a celeb now according to this trending video this video has tainted to your savage negatively to the endorsers who are actually who actually signed a deal with uh, this nigerian singer so one of them being the pampas so this is uh the pampas is a uh, a diapers company they signed a deal with tiwa savage and now the deal is broken the second company is the globalcom the globalcom is uh, a network company in nigeria which signed a deal with tiwa savage this deal is broken another one is a beverage company known as cadbury cadbury also signed a, an endorsement deal on their products promotion with the, the singer that deal is now broken so tiwa savage so i don't know how this match is eating uh into her because of the released uh, video but anyway guys uh, let me know your opinion on this matter was this something worthwhile for tiwa savage uh, and the boyfriend to record the video while they were on the act and also was it something uh good for the endorsers to break the deal between them now straight to my next gist the popular nollywood actor that is johnson Massey okije has come out clearly to ridicule the fact that a teacher has been bullying a eight years old daughter in school now according to her the teacher has been bullying her daughter because of her celebrity status you know Massey johnson is a is a a very very a prolific uh, actress in nollywood movies now she's saying that uh, in her twitter handle she's saying that for the last two weeks the teacher has been bullying her daughter because of the hatred 
he has for her and the teacher claims that celebrity uh, children comes with a lot of dramas and a lot of uh, uh, being of a lot of proudness from them so this is the reason why he actually bullied the daughter to Marcy Johnson now Marcy Johnson went ahead to write the following on social media and actually on her Instagram page now she's saying that since when is it a crime to be Marcy Johnson's or Kijia's daughter before I consider myself a public figure I am first a wife and a mother to my four kids. That is my priority in this life. And nobody can make my child feel less than who she is because her mother is a public figure. Actually, she's saying the truth. Uh, most of uh, the celebrities we have, uh, people tend to uh, look down upon their children, uh, maybe try to associate them with the behaviors of their parents because their parents are celebrity. So she also goes ahead in a long post she's saying that uh, you can say anything about me. You can dislike or even hate me. I will not respond, but do not attack my kids. Hey, do not attack her kids. No, kids should be out of uh, whatever uh, beef you have with the parent. Take kids away from that because they are not part and parcel of uh, anything you have against their parents, even if they're celebrity, because you know that Mercy uh, Johnson is married to a prince. Now, Mercy Johnson also says that this is one thing. The, the one thing I teach my kids is discipline and respect. I insist on politeness and kindness from them. But I also teach them to speak out, especially to me, when they are badly treated. And that is why the daughter uh, actually is told her mother that there's a teacher who has been bullying her in school for the last two weeks. Now, she also goes ahead in a long post. The post is so long, guys. I'll just place it there. You'll read it. Uh, I do not honestly care if someone does not like me. I don't, I don't expect everyone to. Yes, don't expect everybody to love you. But to take your head out of my child, this is an unacceptable behavior. A teacher at my child's school has been bullying my daughter constantly for two weeks. She's not her class teacher, yet she shows up in her class. Hey, this is very funny, by the way. Every day to intimidate her, uses a bio to flick her hair. Now, this is a bullying of the highest order. I'm not in one way or the other supporting uh, whatever Mas Johnson has written or maybe contradicting, but my little opinion, I see this as, a, a, as the highest and the bottom barrel of uh, bullying a child, an eight years old child in school. Now, she tells her to her face that she does not like her mother. Now you see, why do you transfer the hate you have for the mother to the child? Tell her that celebrity kids are badly behaved and she should not bring her haura. She should not, uh, actually, she should stop feeling proud and she should not bring her online drama to school you are telling all these things to uh, an eight years old child this was so much a uh, kind of an hatred to the child and the family so Mas Johnson actually reacted and now she's going she, she's also going ahead to say that I reported have reported to the school authorities and I will see this to the end now this is a very sad story according to a uh, what I can perceive a teacher should not even engage the child and also try to tie whatever happens in the family to the child because that is a parent this is a child so they don't have influence to the child and also maybe if they have the influence but the teacher should not even touch on the family matter they should concentrate on teaching the children and that is all now something to contradict whatever a uh, johnson mercy has actually posted on an instagram somebody you know you know she also went uh, uh live on her instagram to ridicule whatever has been taking place now there is a an instagram user who is known as a nani uh, chidera nani chidera has come out that uh, uh, Mazi's daughter twisted the arm of another student and when the head teacher got a wind of the matter she demanded that purity apologizes to the other students but then she refused and allegedly uh, stated that she was not raised that way 
after a lengthy persuasion, Purity uh, later apologized. This is uh, Nancy uh, Nani Chidera telling us on our Instagram page. Such a thing. Now apologize. After so much persuasion, the girl, the Purity, apologized to um, the other students. And the other students apologized to her. And the woman saw Purity's hair extensions and she said, Oh, I don't want to see you with this because I mean it's a primary school. She's not meant to be with hair extensions. She said, Oh, I don't want to see you with these hair extensions by tomorrow. Um, I'll be by Monday. She gave her, yes, yeah, she gave her the grace of Friday. Said, I don't want to see you with these hair extensions by Monday. Make sure you take them off. And she dismissed the she dismissed both students and they left. Okay. In the afternoon, Messi came to pick up her child. And her child obviously told her what had transpired in school. And then Messi starts shouting. The child's teacher's um, class teacher's name is Mr. Okolo. Messi starts shouting, Where is Mr. Okolo? Where is Mr. Okolo? Then the child said, Oh no, it's not Mr. Okolo. It is this woman. And she points at the head teacher that corrected her, not bullied her. So please get the right narrative. You push it up to my page. I'm saying nonsense. She points at the teacher that corrected her. And Messi goes to the teacher and starts pulling and starts raining abuses starting to size her telling her how she's not worthy of talking to her child telling her how she messy is a mad person she should go and ask about her the, the, the lady just i was there the lady just stood folded her arms and was crying she was just there crying because there was nothing she could do because she was under oath with the school she cannot fight a parent she cannot fight a parent. She cannot say anything. She did not utter a word. And all of you that are playing dumb. Ah, I hope it happens to you. I hope somebody will take because of their position to try to trample on you. I hope it happens to you. I hope it happens to you. I said it. I hope it happens to you. So that you would know how it feels for somebody. Now, this was an accusation uh, from the Instagram user. Uh, but later, Ma Marcy Johnson felt that uh, uh, felt that uh, this was too much. Library. The security was there reading so I can pick them. So when I got home, as God is faithful, I told my husband, I said, ah, I met with uh, one of the teachers. I said, she was really mean. My husband said, you know your kind of work. Some people like you, some people not like you. I was fine. Only for me to pick purity yesterday, as people were announcing a microphone. She was crying. I said, what happened? She said, mommy, that teacher. No, she said, mommy, can I change school? I said, no. I had a video of her. I interviewed her also, so I can explain to you what happened. So, guys, I'm just saying this because I don't have... Don't worry. Yeah, sir, you were there yesterday when this issue happened. Sorry, sir, you were there yesterday. Please, sir, did I come with talks to this school? Talks? No. Are you hearing that? Did I fight anybody in this school? No, 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 no. no. Did I see the principal, the head, my head mistress yesterday? No, the head teacher was not on stage. Out. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. When my husband came, did we come with any talks? No, 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 no. Okay. Are you hearing that? It's because people don't know. Somebody went online and said I came with talks and I beat up the head teacher because we uh, have money. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. That's the hate. No, no, no. no. You don't know the truth, you will not keep quiet, and then you start to lie. Mom, sis, I swear to God, this auntie was rude to me last week. Sorry, mommy. So I now told my husband, I think my husband told you, and I said, I said, I don't know, she doesn't just like me. I said, people must not like you. You were there, sir. Even yesterday when she was misbehaving, I tried to hold myself. Because the normal me, as I look the picking, they cry. I confess for her. Mommy, no, I'm Guys, I'm sorry, I have to go off now. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted my team to understand the truth or the true nature of what happened. That's been cleared. I'm here with the head teacher. I'm just trying to sort out my issues. Please, like. Now, we have seen uh, the Instagram user uh, turning things upside down and she said that uh, all those things have happened Marcy went to school send her husband and all those things happened but later we saw Marcy Johnson live on our Instagram page with the teacher her daughter to prove her innocence Nani Chidera later uh, we see her on a live chat actually is it a live chat maybe there's a video that is going viral she's apologizing that she didn't know anything that was happening she didn't have news of whatever happened she just went ahead to uh to punch march 
and to actually turn the story upside down so that it can maybe it may be seen as if Mercy and her daughter were wrong. Now she apologizes in this picture. Good evening everybody. Um the events of the past few hours has been very traumatizing for me and I just came on here to apologize to Mrs. Messi Johnson Okuji. I was misinformed and I didn't have first hand information of everything. I believed what I saw over what must have transpired before ever I got there. So, and I based my judgments based on that. And I'm very sorry for whatever issues I have make I may have caused her family and whatever whatever trauma I must have caused them throughout the whole of today. I really hope she finds it in her heart to forgive me. And I've been receiving several death threats in the past hours and it has been very disturbing for me. And I just came on here to say I'm sorry and to ask everyone to please take it easy on me because my mental health should be paramount to everybody and i'm very sorry for all that has happened i would next time try to be more informed and not base of my judgment upon what i just see at a scene of any incident at all i have great love for mercy and I would never wish her bad. I would never wish her children bad. I have great love for her. And I just want everything to please. I just want everything to please end. And everybody to please just calm down. I know I'm in the wrong. And I shouldn't have done all I did. But I'm very sorry. Mrs. Mercy and mr prince okoje i am very sorry for all the troubles i've caused you today i am deeply sorry i was misinformed and i based my judgment on what i initially saw at the school i'm very sorry for that i hope you find it in your heart to forgive me thank you very much anyway guys your views on this matter will actually uh be welcome so let's continue the conversation on the comment section is it something worthwhile for somebody uh to come out and actually contradict and turn the stories up and was the lady uh what was the motive of uh, nani chidera was she trying to actually uh pummel down and also bully a uh, mercy online or maybe she wanted to trend you know if certain things happen in social media you don't need to take the uh the limelight and come out and ridicule everything and also say that uh, person a or person b is bad before you have the information at hand now see she's apologizing straight to another gist the pepsi regional manager revealed that white man is the reason why they're taking with them 17 housemates for a trip to dubai so during this particular moment, all the housemates attended this uh, this meeting. They stormed the offices of the Pepsi uh, in Nigeria. They visited White Money will be supplied with the Pepsi products for one year because she is the he is the winner of uh, the last season which uh, just ended. Now during this time, uh, we saw that uh, the senior manager was watching uh, was watching the challenge so the challenge where we saw michael winning 2.5 million naira and also an all expense trip to dubai after this we saw white money saying that uh, uh, pepsi should just take everybody with them for a trip to dubai and the manager said what yes guys and so be it we'll carry them so during the, this particular moment we saw them uh, in this a meeting where the manager was revealing to them because of you i'll take 17 of you to trip we believe in lifestyle i will be showcasing all of that that's why you know 
because the Pepsi senior brand manager is a very rich man. Uh, she just looked at it, watched the TV, got so white for the table, but Pepsi supposed carry all of us. And then she said, why not? Take 70 people to Dubai. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Abigail. reacting differently some of them are saying that uh, the season five lockdown housemates have not been taken for a trip ozo has not been taken for a trip Chikiti, nengi so we don't know whether it's true or not but fans were reacting uh, because they have not seen the uh, the former housemates moving to dubai as it was promised so they don't know whether this will happen will they take the 17 of them but something that was amazing in this is that Maria was missing. So in her live uh, IG video, she was being asked by fans why she was not there during this meeting. Now she came out clearly to say that she was not told, as those people don't tell her anything, and that is why she didn't go. So you don't know why Maria was left out. Pepsi show? Because no one tells me anything. They didn't tell me. I don't know anything about Pepsi show. So that's why I'm not there. To be fair, they probably know I won't come. So Now, uh, the housemates are also continuing to receive gifts after one another. We saw Pere receiving more gifts after she he had, after he had received a gift in the previous weeks. Now, fans were actually gifting Pere with a lot of gifts. And even Lick Rose received a lot of gifts. Uh, which were actually showing that they have uh, a fan base outside. They were open at, at 9 o'clock. No one, no one, no one. I came here with a branch to call somebody else to get it for me. video we also see maria receiving a lot of gifts from friends actually maria visited ghana so the friends from ghana have actually gifted this uh, beautiful lady with a lot of gifts she's so happy about this how many hours did you guys even try and do this? Oh, <laughs> I love these, like but, literally. But, Ooh, I'm never going to eat this chocolate, you know yeah. that right? You <laughs> <laughs> Now, the Danu Milking Company has awarded Saga, Yusuf, Nin, uh, Angel, and Sasuke 1.5 million Naira, a dummy check which they're going to divide amongst themselves. So we saw all the housemates attending this party. All of them were there. Now, guys, that was my gist. I just want to hear your conversation on the comment section, how you think about the video. So, like the video, share it, let it perform well because of you guys. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you're joining us for the first time, please don't always forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that anytime a video is posted, you are not left out. Until we meet on another episode which is coming uh, tonight on the Gilda Ultimate Search. Bye bye for now.